Many people don't know the impact that Bill Russell had on the game of basketball because of the era of which he played in. His skill and athleticism made him one of the greatest champions of all time, shaping the game for future great athletes to come. To put his career in perspective, here are 10 reasons why Bill Russell is the greatest basketball player ever. Number one, high school career. During this research, there are very few places that have stats of his high school games due to it being so long ago in 1951. The high school Russell attended was McClellan's High School in Oakland, California. He won back-to-back -back high school state champions. Russell was a very raw athletic talent during his high school career almost getting cut his freshman season. By his junior season, Russell established himself as a strong defensive presence and an anchor of a team, leading the team in block shots and rebounding and becoming a proven winner at a young age. Number two, college career. Bill Russell received no college offers but entered the University of San Francisco as a walk-on in 1953. Russell dominated as early as his sophomore season. His sophomore season, he averaged 21 points and 20 rebounds. And junior season, 20 points and 21 re rebounds. College career averages are 20 points and 20 rebounds. Statistically, arguably the greatest college basketball player ever. Russell led UCF to two NCAA championships in 1955 and 1956, including a string of 55 consecutive victories for an amazing college career. Number three, rookie season. Bill Russell was selected second overall by the St. Louis Hawks and immediately traded to the Boston Celtics. His rookie season, he averaged 14 points and 19 rebounds in the regular season and 13 points and 24 rebounds in the playoffs. The Celtics reached the NBA Finals that year and met the St. Louis Hawks, who were led by Bob Pettit. This series would go seven games, with Russell having a pivotal block that preserved Boston's lead in the Celtics' first NBA championship. With one second left, the Hawks missed two shots in close. Number four, eight straight championships. After losing the following year, the Celtics and Russell would create a dynasty and would win eight straight championships, beating the Lakers in 1958, who had Elgin Baylor as a rookie. In 1959, the Celtics won against the St. Louis Hawks in seven games, a team that had the NBA legend Bob Pettit again. In 1960, they would face the Hawks again, winning four games to one. In 1961, the Lakers again, which they would defeat in seven games. The 1962, the Lakers again, where they would defeat them four games to two. In 1963, they would face the San Francisco Warriors with Wilt Chamberlain in his first finals and would defeat them four games to one. In 1964, the Lakers once more with Jerry West and the Lakers and would still they would still lose four games to one and the last of the consecutive championships came in the 1965-1966 season again for the Lakers for the fourth time in the five years. with 15 seconds to go to within two points as Ellis scores. But Casey Jones kills the remaining seconds. The Celtics have won, and there's Bedlam and Boston again. World champions of basketball for the eighth successive year. Number five last two years of career. 
In the last two years of the career of Bill Russell, legendary coach Red Arback stepped down as coach to become the general manager. Bill Russell would take over as head coach and player to, and play in these games and win two championships, defeating the Lakers both times in 1968, four games to two, and in seven games in 1968. And another safe dive, Boston team wins the world's professional basketball crown, 124 to 109 in the final against Los Angeles. A fitting climax to the Converse cavalcade of basketball. Bill, this must have been a great win for you. Exactly. See, I knew that was my last game. I was just so proud of those guys and myself. Every minute that I played for Celtics were a joy to me. From there, I couldn't go to heaven because leaving there, going to any place else, and stepped down. Number six, MVPs. Bill Russell has won the MVP five times in 1958. 1961, 1962, 1963, and 1965, and an All-Star Game MVP in 1963. Russell's impact on the game was so influential that the NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Trophy was named after him, Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award, in honor Each year, of the game the of Bill MVP Russell. MVP is given to an exceptional, extraordinary player based on his performance on the grandest stage in all of basketball, the finals. Who better to name this prestigious award for than one of the greatest players of all time and the ultimate champion? Accordingly, it is my pleasure to announce here in Phoenix at All-Star Weekend that this award will henceforth be named for Bill Russell, a true legend of the game. Number seven. Rebounding. Bill Russell was a four-time NBA rebounding champion in 1958, 1959, 1964, and 1965. He is just one of two NBA players, the other being Wilt Chamberlain, to grab more than 50 rebounds in a game and remain second all-time in both total rebounds and rebounds per game. Now when he gets that ball, you notice how he protected it. His elbows were out. He had complete protection of that ball. He has it completely under control. But the main thing is that we discussed about rebounding. You can't win without the ball. The single most important thing is get the ball. Every time they take a shot, you say to yourself, they'll get one shot. We'll get the ball. Number eight, defensive ability. Bill Russell was never known as a great offensive player, but his defensive abilities, he played in the era before the NBA recorded blocks as an official stat. But as Russell progressed in the league, stats started to become more reliable. In Bill Russell's first NBA playoff game, he finished with 16 points and 31 rebounds, along with a reported seven blocks. Just amazing. Number nine. Big Moment Player Bill Russell is one of the only seven players in history to win a NCAA championship, a NBA championship, a Olympic gold medal. He won multiple Game 7s. In a Game 7 against Wilt Chamberlain, Russell managed to hold Chamberlain to 22 points and proceeded to win the NBA Finals in a tight seven-game showdown against the Lakers, with Russell scoring 25 points and grabbing 32 rebounds in a 95-93 win. And in the 1967-1968 Eastern Conference Finals against the Sixers, Bill Russell and the Celtics became the first NBA team to ever come back from a 3-1 deficit. Number 10, 
impact on the game. Bill Russell's impact on the game was more than just as a player, but as a coach as well. He broke barriers wherever he went. While at the University of San Francisco, he was on a team which became the first major college basketball squad to start three African American players, a milestone for the game of basketball. But his most notable impact was as a player coach. As former coach Red Arback would retire as coach and Russell would win two championships while coaching and playing in the game. He coached eight seasons in Boston, Sacramento, and Seattle, and he became the first African American coach in history. His impact on the game will never be forgotten. And those are the 10 reasons why Bill Russell is the greatest basketball player ever. What is your favorite moment from Bill Russell? Leave it in the comment section below. But until then, it's been your boy, Johnny Walker LA, and I'm out. Bow.